Aloha, thank you for joining. This was on a planet channeling. Um, but I've been feeling through the day that I, I have to do it. It's the 55th anniversary of Jeff Bagley. And I and already channeled him a couple of months ago. And I didn't think he was he wanted to show up, but it thinks he wants to say something. I wasn't sure either because my hair is a bit messy, <laughs> but he said he didn't mind, and even if he prefers it, like like it, like this, um, messy, and I guess it suits his personality. So, whatever he's going to say is going to be a surprise for me too. And I wish you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for all your birthday wishes. 55 in human terms. Um, eternal for the universe. And so, so are you. I, I just wanted to say thank you. I, I think I did the last time, but thank you not only for for watching this and for listening to my music, for keeping me in mind, for lighting candles for me. That means a lot. Uh, for trying to understand me. That's something I, I haven't quite figured out. <laughs> uh, I guess it's um, a task that never ends, or at least well, you shouldn't see it as a task. I'm having fun. We are having fun. We do party. If you want to know, we do party and we listen to music and we have alcohol and, well, whoever wants can have drugs and all of that. Um, yeah, there's some others that are more elevated and do, don't do anything of that. Those are the boring ones. We are the wild ones. So we have to. And we jump. And um, yeah, we have sex. Uh, I know a lot of you are cu curious about it. You can ask. I might not answer. But why? Uh, some people ask why spirits would like to have sex, and I'm like, I mean, sex is not about only about a body. Doesn't mean that you can only have sex because you have a body. Because it's more than that. You know that. You know that it's more than touching, it's more, it's more than it's more than the skin, it's more than the sexual organs or anything, it's, it's more than the kissing, it's more than the saliva, it's more than, than any kind of fluid, it's, it goes beyond that. So, uh, once you don't have the physical body anymore, that, then you, you won't enjoy sex anymore? Doesn't doesn't make so much sense unless you think that sex is just the physical, it's just for for the, that instant pleasure. 
It can be the way too. But I don't see any fun in that. So yeah. I do enjoy sex and that kind of connection. Um, and I would say, can I say it, that I enjoy it more now that I'm not incarnated. Because um, when I was alive, <laughs> I kind of knew, I, I could feel that my life was going to be short. And people around me, they, they have that idea too, because I was living fast. Um, and it, it, was, it wasn't like I was depressive or... I mean, I had depressive episodes. But it wasn't like I, I wanted to kill myself every day, like... Like others. Um, no. But it, it was some, something that I, I wasn't scared of. Um, part of it, I, I guess it was coming from the experience of my, of my dad. Mm, unconsciously. I guess I, I thought I could go the same way very quickly. But my mind was always racing and there was so much going on all the time. Yeah, even when having sex. Um, so I, I, I wasn't... It wasn't like I always, I was always there, hundred percent, with my partner. And I guess once I, I guess you, the way your mind works doesn't change much. I still... I still have a mind that jumps from one thing to another. It's just the way I am. I can change that. Uh, if I can go deeper, I can relax more. I wanted to say something the other time, the other day, um, because because of of my lyrics and. And the kind of legacy I left behind and the way it was, um, yeah, it's, it's like I said, that people knew I was going to leave early. Um, some weren't really shocked. Uh, they knew I wasn't going to take my own life, but they knew also that I wasn't going to do much for staying longer. So people tend to assume that I was really okay with it. I just wanted to say that as a spirit we are allowed to feel all the feelings. I mean you can you can go higher and and stay that way and some kind of perpetual ecstasy or I don't know but I don't find that interesting um, so yeah I, I, I still experience a lot and I still and I still do shitty things and I still hurt people sometimes 
I can be mean when I'm not in the mood. I can be rough on the edges. Um, but I miss. I miss life. I'm alive. I I I I remind that to people. I'm alive. But I miss physical life. I miss this <laughs> breathing in man. I miss I miss the smells. Shit, I miss the smell. And the sounds. We, we, as I said, we can still enjoy music, but it's quite different. I, I couldn't, I don't know how to explain it. I guess I couldn't. But it's very different. I mean, I can, I can feel it in my chest. That. <laughs> I can, I can feel that way, and I miss that. I miss uh, ah, juicy things, the sunshine, the wet hair dripping on your back. Ah, smell of coffee and incense. Smell of woman. The subway. Mm. And sometimes, sometimes I get kind of angry. My life went so fast, and that's okay. That's okay to feel that way. It's okay to get angry and sad and nostalgic and anything. Sometimes I see people uh, feeling like they are failing because they feel that way. You're not. And you can do something with that. I did with my songs. I tried. And you keep trying. What I, what I mean is that that life you have, that you think is boring, you think is it's small. You think what you do is unworthy or anything. It's, it's not cool enough. It's not deep enough. Your work is not deep enough, or anything, I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's amazing. You can wake up every day, I know. Again, another juicy line, but I can say it in any other way. You wake up, you breathe, you eat. You smoke, you get high, you have sex. That's, that's great. That, that's fucking it. That's more than many people can have or will ever have. I don't want anybody to long for, for being on the other side. I won't hype it. <laughs> it's different. So sometimes I envy you. People, some people think about me like I'm fucking 
Christ or anything. We have people that knew me. And I get it. I get it. They miss me. I miss them. <sighs> but I had a lot of moments I was not proud of myself. And now I can be proud of those moments I wasn't proud. That's that's one of the things that change. Because it led to something else. To a song or a decision that I had to take. Or something I said to someone and it was meaningful for them in that moment. It changed something for them or for me. People say I was wise. I don't think so. No. Witty. Yeah. I knew a couple of things. I was a child. And I still still a child in many ways. I'm still a child sobbing for his father. Mama. <laughs> I'm joking. Um oh no. That's it I think. So thank you and and I love you. Um see you. Um okay, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Um it's just that a couple of days ago I chatted Marlon, Brando, and it was quite messy, I don't know, but this was, this was, this was the fun channeling. <laughs> Not that channeling Marlon wasn't, uh, it was um, I don't know, complex, <laughs> I can't find another word, so uh, thank you, this was, this was a short message, um, and I hope it reaches you, um, and it's a good way to celebrate his spirit, thank you.